agent maybe do this or that. You don't see crime lab people do that unless they think it's what the prosecution wants them to do. Uh, I got this chat from Call Me Straws says the system is broken, period. So what now with the guilty verdict very likely on the horizon? I don't think that's actually the case or a compromise, so. which is possible. What is the next logical step? Law abiding citizens rights are now screaming at this uh, and screaming at this. And we're told to just sit down and swivel. What solution is there for this? Well, for Kyle's so so solution, it's an appeal and a very robust appeal. Uh, very quickly filed, but um, but society and hopefully bail know. pending appeal. Mm. Yes. Well, see, unlike what the I, judge said earlier today, I think the solution is more of this: sunlight, sunlight, sunlight. Look at prosecutors. Look how they operate. Look at how this happens. Get those higher standards in place because I, this is unacceptable. Like I said, I don't care how you feel about Kyle on this. I, you you could be entirely in favor of saying that you think the evidence supports conviction of some kind. The way this has been handled should cause everybody to question this process. And that's to say more transparency. What's to say that Binger wouldn't do the same exact thing against any other defendant in Kenosha? Ah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Andrew, how art thou? Hey guys, did I miss anything? Oh. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. We were stolen for time here, waiting for you to get back. I was doing a bunch of interviews and I could see in my my laptop next to me that stuff was happening. And I, I guess I caught the gist of it, right? The, the the prosecution explained away the drone video thing to the satisfaction of the judge, and the jurors are going to be shown some videos the defense does not find objectionable. Is that an, an, I don't think that's not, not that's quite accurate. Part. Okay. The first part, uh, he said he wants to take testimony under oath and have expert testimony oh. because the prosecution was not being credible as to their explanation as to how they accidentally sent the wrong video to the defense. Um, but as to the second one, they, they it was a split. The, uh, the defense continued to object to some videos going back to the jury, but not all videos going back to the jury. And so right. there's been, and they're waiting for the jury what videos they request before crossing that second bridge. Yeah, the first request was just preparation, apparently. And so the judge yeah. did have a statement that said, maybe I won't have to make any of these tough decisions. That's what you always want to hear from a judge, that he's yep. not really comfortable with the idea of making tough decisions. <laughs> That's a good qualifier, Rich. Meet That's state courts in of work. <laughs> Meet a lot of judges. They love to play Pontius Pilate. Uh, mm. yeah, th this, is, uh, this is getting intensely messy, and the judge has a real predicament. If the jury just says, by the way, we want to, we want to look at that drone footage. They, They're not ready right now. I, d I don't even know. Again... No, you can't. We have to talk about it. Is the note they send back to the jury at that point? That's weird.